The next time you get a craving for a plate full of pig's feet, you won't find them at Harris Teeter. You won't find them at Walmart. You'll find them at Washburn's store in the village of Washburn in the North Carolina mountains. And then you can combine your pig's feet with your pickled eggs and your pig's knuckles and some Vienna sausage, a little bit of bread, and you got yourself the darndest club sandwich you ever put in your mouth. Clothing, hardware, fresh-made sandwiches, groceries, appliances, kitchenware, pottery, birdhouses, pots and pans, locally grown tomatoes. If you can't find it at Washburn's store, you probably didn't need it to start with. The proprietors are Edward Washburn and his wife Catherine, who live across the road from the store in a house his grandfather built in 1915. Washburns have owned and operated the store since 1831 and it's most likely the oldest North Carolina business operated continuously by the same family. You may see a couple of grandchildren working the cash register or helping customers find stuff. They are the seventh generation of Washburn storekeepers. Y'all have a good evening. If you live way up in the hills in a cabin without electric power, no problem. Washburn's store sells cook stoves that run on wood and water pumps that run on pure elbow grease. One of the churches in Golden Valley bought one of these because they don't have power out there. And that's some of the coldest, best water you've ever tasted. Now, if your horse should throw a shoe, First, you measure the horse's foot. Then you go to Washburn's store, find yourself the right size shoe, anything from pony shoe to big workhorse shoe or any size in between. This store's shelves are crammed with stuff you'd expect to see in a museum. For example, if you need a washboard, for your country music band or to do your laundry during a power outage, you can find one at Washburn's. I got my daughter one of those. When we, she got married, I promised her a washer and a dryer. So I got her a scrub board and a clothesline. <laughs> Denim work clothes reign supreme at this store. Overalls, coveralls, jeans, they take up twice as much counter space as any other product. Sizes run from real small to real huge. Good heavens. In fact, Catherine Washburn and her friend Bessie have been known to fit both of their slim selves into a single pair of size 66 overalls to the delight of folks who happened to be in the store at the time. Humor and delicious surprises contribute to the charm of Washburn's store. You wouldn't want to miss the size 70 overalls hanging from the ceiling, a gift from the Tennessee manufacturer that supplies the store's work clothes. On a high shelf, there's a huge wheel on which Ed Washburn's granny spun wool for her family's clothes. And over in the corner, a retired copper liquor still. The Washburns won't say where it came from, but they assure you it isn't one of their family heirlooms. While you're looking over the collection of Washburn curios, don't be startled if you hear a clickety-clack and see something moving. On a high shelf in the center of the store, there's a toy train that runs from way back in the nuts and bolts department roars around a curve near the store's front door, then thunders past the hoop cheese, soda pop, and pickled pig knuckles. An important part of this old time merriment is the morning coffee club. A jolly group of retired guys gathers daily for an hour of caffeine, jokes, politics, and sharing of community news. Do what? There are stringent requirements for coffee club participation. You got to be old, you know how to lie, 
and got to have money. So, and that leaves about half of us out. <laughs> Yes, this place is full of surprises, laughs, and memories, but it's more than just a store in a community center. Washburn's is a living chapter of the history of Western North Carolina. That's why both the store and the entire village of Washburn are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Catherine and Edward Washburn welcome visitors, whether or not the folks buy anything. So drop in. Ask Edward to start up the toy train for you. Then saunter over to the stack of work clothes and hope that those size 66 overalls do look a bit big on you. That's, even I'm not that big. <laughs>